Hello everyone, welcome back to Stellaris Nemesis. Now, I think it's time we have prepared our fleet. We have consolidated our empire in the last episode with all the new terrain or territory. Um, and we are ready for another conquest, I think. So just for your information, nope, we're not going to conquer another whole of the galaxy because this is rather tedious. At some point, we just snowball through it and I don't see much uh, reason for that. But what we want to see, of course, is still the crisis. Um, mechanic that is in Nemesis now and in order to see that I well first of all have to become stronger and I would also like to finish my last uh, well traditions tree here the prosperity uh, to 5 of 5 and then we can unlock a new ascension perk and one of them was become the crisis I think something like that but of course in order to become the crisis we should be dangerous and yeah um, a bit evil as well perhaps so that's what we can do first of all the Kalasad Republic is my Kalasad Republic is my enemy for now so it's against them they're pathetic in fleet power so that's not really we uh, something we have to fear but what we have to fear here is that they have four alliances working for them now let's just check them real quick the pious three order is a rather weak one so i don't fear anything from them really there is the divine athlete foundation that is rather dangerous this is the foundation up here the ones that we don't even have fully surveyed yet mm, we might need to change that so they might or they will come in from the north oh there's already a fleet from the kalasan one of my complete. systems already um they might in come in from here so we do need to reinforce and that choke point that we have rukba system where i already have stationed a fleet with 23k power and we have a pretty big uh, rukba station there with lots of firepower as well so that's that and we need to be sure that this is working for us we have the kingdom the three uh, the skanuri kingdom that should be poo, there it is it's rather weak and far away as well and we have the sacred um, at Noran State, and there we have this one. It's also rather weak. So the Divine Athlete Foundation is difficult, and the rest should be fine. Um, we march into that, into that territory then as well, because we need to go against the Allies, of course. And to the north, I want to wait what's happening here by with their attack before I march into their territory as well. So this is my goal for now. Um, we do have a bit more influence again, so claiming a few more systems before I go to war seems like a good idea. Let's just have a look. We have claimed everything here. Let's claim this last one down here. And those two should be possible. Very good. That's a lot of systems we have claimed. And we need a lot of conquest thus. That's it for now. I think we should be fine. We have, yeah, five, six fleets available now with over 100k in strength. It's 120k now. Um, that should be fine for this war. I'm eager to find out what's happening. Let's go for it. Um, declare war on the Kalasan once Research again. Complete. Conquer is my... Oops, one more research. Sorry. Let's just finish this research here. And get a new one up. Gene modification is good. A bit more food from farmers. That's absolutely not necessary at this point. Let's go for gene modification. And now it's time. It's time, it's time, it's time. Kalasan, declare war. Conquer the claims is mine. We have 14 claims in the system. And of course, there it is. Now with the war declaration, we are at war with five powers now because they're of course calling in their allies. Um, I don't think it's happening. There it is. Now it's the war declaration. First of all, oh, what we can see is the Kalasan. For some reasons, they're in the soul system. So I'm going to send my fleet over there real quick. To the south, we have another system here. So I will... Hmm. I think I take two of my fleets moving into that direction and three of my fleets moving into that direction to take the Kalasan on that side. Right, well, let's unpause the game real quick. I'm really worried about this one here though. Alright, they're going to take the soul system. I don't believe it. Science they're actually going to take the, the soul system here. There's nothing I can do. My fleet is not fast enough to get over there on time. Uh-huh, uh-huh. At the same time, we're moving into their systems, of course. So that's one of theirs. And we've taken it already. This one where we had the claim on it. And we move right to the next one. The soul system is lost but only for now. My fleet is almost there. And then we take it back of course. There's no problem with that. We continue. Um, of course it's a bit bad for the war score system right. Because yeah who knows. Let's have. Let's just see the Mandasura mandate. Are we at war with the Mandasurans? That can't be true. No, we're only... Oh, wait a second. No, we're not at war with the Mandasurans. I don't know why they turn hostile towards us then. 
Oh, because it's not their systems. They're being conquered right now, I think. My main fleet? Um, poo, let's divide my main fleet, actually. Into the third and the fourth. No, actually, I want to take down this um, thingy there, right? This scavenger bot that we have found in the last one. I want to find out what happened when we destroy it. Or, let's focus on the war for now, sorry. So we need to go down into that system there. And then march our way through that whole Kelasan system. Now, my fleet up here should be arriving now. Um, invasion! On <laughs> Earth, they're actually invading Earth right now. There is my fleet coming, though. This is a huge breach there on my part, though. Right? A huge mistake on my part there as well. I did not see them. That they were in my system. So there is my fleet coming in. And let's destroy them. There it is. Has been engaged. Hostile fleet engaged. Just one volley and we got the station back. And this of course... They're going to be crushed by the battleships. We have wars now at multiple systems. That is not so good. We need to take the control there back again. That was a bit... Yeah, I did not see that they had a 10k fleet in my home system. No idea, we just were at war. No idea why they would have a fleet in my system. Alright, that's the end of it though. No problem really. Um, and Earth right now was conquered though. So we need to send a invasion force. Those two here to Earth to take it back. I mean, that was really genius on their part, right? They, they rushed into it and invaded immediately. There was no way for me to do anything else. We can move our fleet up there again though. And then we move into the Athelid Foundation. And here in the south we have taken that system. And we just continue now with the conquest. Into those levels there. This one's fine. Over here. What's going on? We should have taken it by now. Oh, it's the Mandus Ruins. This is messy here right now. Mm, there we have the Kalasan Republic. And then we move into this system, this system, and this system. Another system. This is actually a pretty strong station there. 14k, it's a citadel, right? Well, it doesn't matter, it's gone anyway. But still. I don't think we have lost that much yet. Nope, we haven't. Another system that we have conquered. How's it looking over here? We're moving into that. We're moving into the um, allies, right? That's what we need to do in that sector. This smaller ally there will not be of much help. In the trim system, I don't have defense right now. What we can do instead is I'm going to upgrade my station there once again. And since I do have the allies, let's just... Well, let's just order another fleet, really. There's no reason why we should not do that. Except for the cost, but really I don't care about the cost at this point. Um, we are above our naval capacity, but it's still totally fine. Now, we're moving also up here now into the next system. And down here we have conquered everything so far. And we can now move into their core systems, right? We need to take all of them here, I think. This one, this one, this one, and then into their capital over there. How's it looking with my transport fleet, by the way? They're still on the way to Seoul. Seoul is no big deal, right? The planet still belongs to us. It's only occupied for now. Abandoned gateway. An ancient space station of some kind has been located at the edge of this San Saonas system. A gateway. That's an interesting system here. There it is, the gateway. It might lead to some places, but who knows about that really. Okay, and there is also my attack force once again to get the attackers, the occupations here gone again. So that's 300 that are stationed there. Um, we have 480. We should win this one, but I'm not entirely sure. Otherwise, we will have to get just a, way, a few more. Invasion has started. And it's looking rather good for us. They are crumbling already. Spaceport lost. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. And once again, there is another attack somewhere. But where? It's really, really messy here right now. Enemy we do have... Secured. Ah, very good. Empire or the, the uh, Earth is back in our control. 
that problem has been solved. War score is tipping towards us now. Perfect. We still need to continue. So we are now in the Kalasan. Oh, in Divine Athlete Foundation there. Where we take system after system. And there is a new power coming up. The QE Pulsi Watchers or whatever their name is. We continue, of course, because there's still stuff to be conquered here. That we need to take on the other side. Where was the space station lost to me? I have no idea. There is a smaller force. Alright. There is actually a big force. 11k power. Um, let's send one of my other fleets. Let's have the, the fifth fleet move back here again to trim. This one here. We're still fighting. And taking those systems, and we should also be deep in the territory here now. Let's move in. And with my other fleet, we are also moving into that one now. Yeah. Oh, actually, wait a second. Nope, we need to get this route here. Because one fleet is taking that sector, and the other fleet is taking this sector here. But there is starting to appear some resistance now. Took them quite some time. This one is a bit troublesome there, so that's a bit that's a bit bigger there. But they should not attack because we have the space station and the fleet there. So nothing problematic right now. Da -da -da -dum. There should be a smaller skirmish here. Also, not a big deal. That's actually one of the bigger forces here that we see from the enemy, but I still have the problem that it's coming in from so many sides that it's very hard to keep track there sometimes. We barely lose even our shields in this battle here. Even though there's a citadel, so... Still fine though for my ships, hopefully. Yep, I think all of them are down. And then it's just the citadel and we've taken this one there as well. Oh, and there is also... Ooh, ooh. 11,000 coming in. That's more da dangerous there. So there is a big one. 11k in strength. But they're backing off already. I need to take them down, I think, though. Yep, they would be here now. Mm. I do have the 5th fleet that is, at the moment, conquering these lands here. But I might push them back up here, though, to get to my... um To help them. How's it looking up here? We are still conquering these terrains there. So that's this one and this one and this one. Right, and we've research taken basically complete. everything up there. Oh, another research, engineering boost, research boost. That is the Stonefire Auto Cannon. Sounds good, right? Yes, I would like to go with that. The rest is not that worth it. And then we have the second fleet in this system. Let's move up here and then into that one. Now let's take the station there first the choke point station and then we can move into the rest of them i also have one fleet over here far away still very strong as we can see there is lots of smaller fleets waiting that we can conquer and then it's this one there yep there's also this is looking interesting there's three fleets in the system and a colony ship that we might just take for us oh they're moving into the into my system right now. Oh, unknown signal weak, but insistent signal transmit on repeat in the Karma system. The first fleet has pinpointed its source. I might do that later. Certainly not now. And there it is. That's really weak though. I think they were just building up again and get surprised now by getting storm rolled. Very good. That system is under control then as well. How's it looking? Ah, we're still not totally winning this one. Let's move over there. There is still lots of forces to be fought here. This one is... Ah, we're fighting this one right now. And then we still have to go to that system, okay? There's the main fleet from the Pius um, Order that we are fighting right now. So one of the main allies that they have. Crushing the allies, of course, is pretty important. Otherwise, we can't we can't work on that war score for us, so that's them going down as well. I love my battleships here working for us. No chance really, and then it's just that system. Perfect. That was another big boost of 5% towards the war score. And then we have another bigger system that we need to 
tick here. There is no one coming back at us on the other side. That's good. This one all belongs to us now. Basically, we're still over there. We need to get there. To finish off the last station in the Kalasan Republic themselves. They're going to lose a lot of systems if they lose that war. So it's not easy, right, to take it all so quickly. We're still in this system here that we've taken now. Then we go into the last one. And over here, we're now moving into that system. That's another battle. They're rebuilding here right now. So it's important that we take those shipyards. And they've lost it too. Not a big deal. Hmm, where should we go now? Down here, I definitely would like to advance to those systems here, right? And all the way up there then, perhaps. That's something over here. We're moving in that. That's fine. Here we're still fighting. Oh! Oh, it seems like there is a bigger battle though. Yep, that's 17k in fleet size. Oh my goodness. We might be losing this fight there. That would be the first time. Mm. I could retreat to not fully lose it, but I think we gained the upper hand. Yep, we're pushing towards the station. The station is ours. Oh my goodness. 5k. Eh. Nah, we're losing this one, alright. I'm losing a lot of ships there. Yep, and we lost a fleet, actually. Incredible. 12k in strength it is over here. 15k in strength. Mm -hmm. That's in that system there. It's pretty important that we now reinforce one of our fleets. I mean, we lost... Let's just check this one, that's fine. We can reinforce them again. The first fleet basically took no damage so far. The fifth fleet took some damage. The seventh fleet what, was totally wrecked. And the eleventh fleet, I think, is non-existent at this point. Alright, but it's interesting. We lost a battle there with one of our smaller fleets, though. There, we're still taking this station now. Which is also pretty strong, so there, yep. That was barely possible here, alright? So, we have lots of resistance now against us. This one here is still fine though, 18k in strength. So they're fighting off right now and winning this system for us. And then we move towards that system over there. Oh my goodness, but it's not that easy anymore. Where is my other two main fleets that we have? Then the 40k in strength, they're moving into the last one there. And then we need to rush back home again after the battle to trim. But only after the battle there. That's 40k that we still have there. That's another 20k that we have here. Mm, that's the 11k they were fighting and another 5k here. Where's their main fleet though that just crushed us? Is it over there now? I think they're taking back some systems there. Yep. Yep. And there they're taking the systems back. Okay. Oh, this is not good. So, right, this is definitely increasing our war exhaust uh, exhaustion. And that's not something we want. Now, I have the question or I have the choice. Do I want to f continue fighting here? Uh, we should. This fleet is not so important, the second fleet, right? We still need to conquer more. This one still also needs to conquer a bit. So it's moving now. Oh, all right. Let's move into that system there. Yeah, that's a pretty big fight there. Pooh, I don't know if we can win this one. It's the battle at the black hole. Now, we are also losing this one. Alrighty, I need to consolidate my armies. Research. The allies of our enemy are pretty strong. They have managed to get a fleet of 10, 15, 20k here.
and we're losing this battle too. And we might not even be able to retreat. No. Alright, we're completely losing the first fleet there too. Jesus, that is pretty tough right now. I thought we would be winning this more easily. Mm. My next fleet is gathering, but they are now conquering all of these territories there again. That's 11k. I've got another main fleet waiting here, so they're going to be... It's difficult. I will have to keep that. Wait a second, we have another one there. Why are they suddenly able to pull so many fleets though? Yeah, and it's equal now. So nothing is won. Mm, bit of research perhaps. Energy weapon damage. Let's do that. But I will need to build some new fleets there as well. So let's just check it. The first fleet. Where is it actually? Alright, since this is turning a bit messy here right now, um, I think we could still win the war, but it would just drag on forever. We are basically losing all the conquered stuff that we had here, right? Um, and we are also losing the conquered territory that we have here, because for some reasons, all of a sudden, the Athlete Foundation, and especially those two here, have now fleets with 20 to 30k in strength. Now, that wouldn't be like this one here. And, you, you know, they all of a sudden have dozens of these fleets everywhere. So, um, we could still win this if I combine my fleets together again because we're still over well i guess well over where are my fleets anyway yeah well over 80k in strength still right so that's not a big deal but it would just drag on forever so what we can do actually is we could have a peace offer settle on the status quo so um we do get 13 systems still because we get the systems, um, we, we, we seize the occupied claims. So whatever we have occupied and where we have a claim on, we do get this one. And I think this is a good offer. Let's just try this one and end the, the, the war um, prematurely. Let's just see what happens Station with those systems attack. when they accept. They should all move to us. And there they accepted. And yes, all of those systems are now in our control. Also the small system here. All of those systems there. Look at that. This was actually a win for us. We now took 16 additional systems. I don't think any of these has a planet in it though. So these are all resource systems. Which is good. It's boosting our mineral output even further. Uh, there, the stations are still working there for us as we can see as well. So this was really, really successful all in all despite only having a white piece, right? But it, it would have just dragged on forever and that is not good. It's especially very boring and expensive as well. We have no claim with them so that's fine. And the Kalasan Republic got smaller by that and more divided than ever. That's fine too. Now, what we still have as a problem here is that those systems are still separated from our empire. And that's because the Mandasura Mandate and the Caravan here are in between, right? So that's another thing that we would need to uh, take into action here or would, well, implement into our system more or less. My fleet is still returning home now. That's fine. Um, those here, they're not returning completely home because I still want to find out what this scavenger bot here is doing. So they're just moving over there and coming together with another fleet that is coming from Turim them. And I think we still have a 16k fleet down here as well. So we're moving in from both sides then and see what this scavenger bot is and how strong it really is. At peace again at last. That was a pretty surprising war to be honest. Right? So at the beginning it looked like we would win easily, but then they kind of kind of like got back at us. But still, it's fine. We got the systems we wanted. Basically, all the claims we had. There's no reason to push for a victory if we can have white peace and it's just getting us the same systems. So that's basically it. Lots of that and we come back here in the next episode. Stay tuned.